Okay, here I'm going to demonstrate uh, Yugo Pawn, the uh, first primary exploit for the DSi. This video will just demonstrate how to do it since it's a little complicated to pull off. So I'll go ahead and start it. Currently, a, uh, only the USA region is going to be publicly available until the other ones are worked out later. So first off, you, we'll just, just assume you already have the files in place because I don't really have time to demonstrate that. You're going to see two flip notes, the first one and then there's the second one. This one has a bunch of red stuff at the bottom and this one's just a gray pattern. You're going to start out by selecting the first one, go to edit. Then you could press the little frog here. There's the deep, I think there's a button command that does the same thing, but I'm using primarily the... Uh, touch screen for this. You, you copy that, then you go back, then back again. Exit works too, though, so I think actually you have to hit exit. You can go to the second one, edit, back to the frog, back to the little thing up here, and then you use the, assuming you have it in left-handed mode, you use D-pad for this, but if you have it in right-handed mode, you're going to be using the A button to scroll to the right. Just go to the right until you create a new one, and then hit paste. Now this part you have to takes a little time. You have to paste this frame in 120, 122 times is how I've been doing it. So we're gonna do that now. And once you have pasted 122 times roughly, you hit erase, then hit paste. And there you go. That's pretty much how Yugo Pawn is supposed to work.